Hello, David. Today, I will talk about a really interesting topic for me. In YouTube Creator Studio, there is a function that I can see which country people have seen my video. Usually, they were from Indonesia and Malaysia, but suddenly, I can see many people from India, Pakistan, and Bangladesh. And many people ask me this. Can you make a video about how Korean people think about them? So today, I will gonna talk about this. Actually, it's mysterious countries for Koreans, I think. It's not easy to get information information about them. But a few years ago, an Indian and Pakistani appeared a really famous Korean TV show named Bi Jung Sang Hwedang, Abhishek Gupta and Jahid Hussain. They always fought with sensitive topics, so it's really fun for viewers. But of course, both of them are gentle and they can speak Korean really well, so they were popular in Korea. They talked a lot of things about their culture, so they gave positive images about their countries. Yeah, it was really helpful and informative, thankfully. But I think Koreans still have some some stereotypes about them. Like they think they have turbans and have dark skin and dots on their heads and mysterious atmosphere. <laughs> it's funny. But actually it's not. Because there are so many different people living in there. They have different looks, different language and have different cultures. Let's look at the pictures. India. Anushka Sharma, Nora Jones, <gasps> Nora Jones, Crystal D. Suja, Sonak Sinha, Sonam Kap. <gasps> Wow, so pretty. And him. I don't interest in guys, but he's handsome. See? <laughs> and then Pakistan. Aini Jafri. Wow. Amina Khan. <gasps> wow. And then Iman Ali. Mel Vishayat. Suhai Ali Ab. <gasps> and Jay Malik. One Direction Jay Malik is from Pakistan. Wow. And Bangladesh. I don't know their name well. They are oh, they're nice too. They're pretty too. I think they looks what I think. Mm, they are very stylish and beautiful. Okay, see what I wanted to say is they look very different, very diverse. I just talked about pretty, pretty, pretty. Anyway, if you watch Bollywood or Lollywood movies, you can see how elegant and beautiful they are. They look really cheerful and love music too. Mm. But unfortunately, some Korean people think India, Pakistan, and Bangladesh are a little bit dangerous countries, especially for a woman. But I think it's okay if I don't make dangerous situation myself. If you drink with strange people in strange place till late time, or said bad word to strangers in the street, then of course it can be dangerous. But if you don't do that, then I think it will be okay. And if some place is really dangerous, then I don't need to go there, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> By the way, I found really interesting topic while preparing this content. Originally, these three countries were one country. One. Today, I'm gonna talk about this. Why should they divide it and how I think about that? Okay, let's go. At the first, India had a lot of religion, including Buddhism, Hinduism, Islam, Shakism, and Christianity. And even Hinduism is not a one religion. They serve each god on their own way. Yeah, that's Hinduism. Anyway, there were so many different people with different cultures and different languages. I heard they are more melting than China or America. Okay, then let's talk about the history. From the 6th century, the Mughal Empire ruled India. They were Muslims, but the smart Akbar Emperor understood well about the incredibly complex Hinduism. So he was religiously generous. So everyone had been peaceful, although they have different religions. But 7th century, the British Empire came to India and made British East India Company. They monopolized India after the Seven Years' War and finally colonized them after the Sepoy Muniri, 1858. They bought India's resources cheaply and sold it expensive. So they earn a lot of money and they use a lot of Indian soldiers in the first world war. I will make your country independent after the war. But it was lie. They even tried to divide the Bengal religion to encourage their fight. I mean they used the difference of religion, Muslim and Hinduism. It's not good. After world war II, India's independence came finally. But there was a big problem because there was big fight with Muslims and non-Muslims. It was getting worse and worse. Eventually, 1947, the Indus River Legion and the East Bengal Legion were separated into Pakistan from India. Pakistan, India, and Bangladesh. Can you understand? The nation hero, Mahatma Gandhi, tried to stop it, but he failed. And sadly, he was murdered by the radical Hinduism person. He was the person who practiced non-violence against the Britain. I admire him so much. So I remember that I cried a lot when I read he was dying. I was so 
sad and so angry. By the way, the loose mouth button, the last governor, came to India and worked on dividing the borders. But he had no idea about this country at all. In the course of this process, 5 million people forced to move and over a million people died while they were moving. It's really sad story. Some people say the division of India and Pakistan was natural thing because of the religious difference. But I don't think so. Of course that can be a reason, but there is more basic thing. When Britain ruled India, they distinguished them differently and treat them differently. Even the tax policy was different. They made hatred from the people's difference and used that to rule them easily. And look at the lizard. They have been fighting each other for 70 years until now. Of course they can excuse that they didn't intend to divide them. But does that mean they have no fault? No, I don't think so. After they divide, India and Pakistan fought immediately. The war broke out because of Kashmir area 1948 and 1965. Since then, their relationship has been extremely worse. Even they made nuclear. But it was not the end. The Bangladesh. They were in Bengal and it was really far from Pakistan. They were very different but still a same country. But Bangladesh people thought that Pakistan didn't treat them well. They started to get angry and something happened. In 1970, a lot of people were killed by the cyclone. But the Pakistan government could not keep them well. So Bangladesh were so angry and eventually a war happened. In the end, India helped Bangladesh. So Pakistan lost. They were finally independent. But already so many soldiers and innocent people died. Indians, Pakistans, especially Bangladesh. Millions of people died. So sad. Then what did make them separate? What? Religion? Place? Nation? In my opinion, that's not the point. Actually, I have not lived there, uh, so I'm really careful to talk about this. I'm not on anyone's side and don't want to talk about politic things. I will just tell about my opinion. The reasons are hatred, rejection, and discrimination. It's not because of religion, race, or nation. Of course, because of differences, the country could be divided. There are so many complex things in there. But in the process, too many people sacrificed, dead, and suffering. Korea was also a Japanese colony and also was divided and had terrible war. So I know how terrible it is. I heard that there are still Still, some people hate each other in India, Pakistan, and Bangladesh, like South and North Korea. I heard that if they meet on the cricket match, they can feel a war atmosphere. Is it true? And there's been a big and small terror, even in recent years. But you know, hate and rejection are never can be a solution. I know that India, Pakistan, and Bangladesh people are really nice and kind and peaceful. I know only a few people make trouble, but they still exist, and the fight is not over yet. Gandhi said that violence is the fear to others' ideas. Violence never happens if you respect and accept differences from others. If they do that, there's no reason to fight. Maybe it's okay in cricket. It's sports. <laughs> yeah, that's what I want to say. I really love India, Pakistan, and Bangladesh a lot and really want to go there. And I believe that they will complete the perfect peace with Bless of God. Yeah, I really pray for that. And pray for the North and South Korea too. Okay, then I'll end up with my favorite Gandhi's quote. Where there is love, there is life. So, love together. 그럼 오늘은 여기서 뿅.